Damn, film on the lock. Anyway, welcome back to True Doors. This is Amber, a hand fed, treat, spoiled walking mirror who don't walk. Like somebody argued with like, one time they're on the phone and act like they knew what they're talking about. So, well, all walking horses walk. Well, this horse, this walking horse trots, and all walking horses don't walk. So, anyway, this is Amber. Uh, his, her son is actually the spotted horse that I've had on YouTube. Same problem, hand fed trait, aggressive. Uh, now, I'm going to go back through, and I know y'all have seen this a hundred times, but I like to show different horses doing this, but I'm hoping her ears pinning and everything shows up. And one time when I first started this mess, it was ear pinning and charging me. Only thing is, I don't back off. I'm as hard headed as they are. So how did I get her? And even now, when people used to, when people go to her stall, she'd go to the other corner. Now she's starting to give it in, and now she's coming up and wanting people to touch her. And also, if I walk in that shoulder, she's getting out of my way. She's not running over me. Before, she'd run over me. We got three people from these owners and all, I mean three horses from these owners and all three did the same thing. So, like I said, I started out by with the four points of the body, shoulder, shoulder. Her. Yeah, I still got to get after her a little bit because she's not completely out of her being spoiled. She don't like nobody controlling her feet. My ass is in the forward. Reverse her. You watch her, she'll pin them ears back and I won't listen to it. I don't care. Before when I would do that, she would walk try to run ball through me. And now she's getting out of my space. I put my rope at her because she was too close. back and forth like that. I stop, she stops, and we're dusty. Oh well, but anyway, so her body matches mine. I go at her, and she still pins her ears back when I work her back and forth, but she is respecting my space, and that's what all I care about, and I'll keep doing it. 
you know, I do it while she's saddled, and then I'll ride her to a certain during this time. So right now she needs the groundwork more than anything because, like I said, when she first got here, she was pushy. She didn't want to have nothing to do with you. And uh, so right now her, she's in conflict. She wants to give in, but that say, wait a minute, I've had however old she is, I can't tell you. She's had 10 years of doing dang well what she wanted to and walking over people. Uh, she was in training for a while. She was, unfortunately, she was a big leg horse. I could tell that from riding her and I found out she was. So anyway, you know, uh, reiterate, y'all who's following these horses, please quit. There's nothing wrong, you can't love them, but treat them like a horse, people. You, they're dangerous. Some of these horses will get dang, and that's like Nick was working this mare, and I told her, I warned her, I said, this mare is more dangerous than her son when he was a stud. So, uh, you know, just be true to the horse. That's, it's that simple. Treat a horse like a horse, people. I mean, and then, you know, like, the horses like this will have a better chance. And like I said, she's going up for adoption. She's pretty good using horse. And I got a feeling if somebody put her on cows, she really, that would be her thing. Walking horse or not, I can guarantee it. She's cowy as heck. And she'd sit down and turn on. She works off that hind end real good. And she's a talented horse. There's nothing wrong with her. The more I work her, the more I like her. But anyway, I'm giving her a chance. So as I always say, be true to the horse, they'll be dang true to you. Uh, be true to yourself. And God bless and take care of people.